I'm Charles Boda, and this is your Diz Daily Fix for June 12th, 2018. Thanks to six permits recently filed with the city of Anaheim, we now have an even better idea of how expansive Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be. Um, We also have a better idea of how big the bill will be that Disney is footing for the new land. Matthew Gatula initially highlighted these permits' existence from his Twitter account at DLThings yesterday. The full permits encompass the two expected major attractions, two restaurants, some merchandise areas, and backstage cast member areas. We now have a general idea of the square footage of each, as well as the estimated costs. So let me throw some numbers at you real quick. The permit for the Millennium Falcon attraction and surrounding area shows a two-story building at over 165,000 square feet, and the total value for that section of the project is around $77.8 million. The Star Destroyer attraction and surrounding area permit shows a two-story building plus offices and cast member restrooms and break rooms at approximately 115,000 square feet. The total value for that section of the project is around $55.7 million. Dining and merchandise area permit shows a one-story restaurant at 15.5,000 square feet and a merchandise area just over 12,000 square feet. The permit also includes an outside dining area and a loading dock. Total value for that section is around $18.4 million. Now, another permit includes more restaurant space and a cast member bridge. That one-story building is 16.5 thousand square feet, and the total value for that section of the project is around 12.5 million. Now, those last two permits show merchandise locations, restrooms, and more cast member areas. All in all, these projects together should run around 181.3 million. Now, for those looking to take the edge off of long attraction waits, uh, with some fun distraction, the Play Disney Parks app is now available for pre-order on the App Store and Google Play. The game is meant to add a new dynamic to your queue experience by allowing you to play Disney-centric games with family and friends. Some of the features the game will offer are activities that interact with select attraction queues, making for an immersive experience. Guests can earn and share digital collectibles as they earn themed achievements. And there will be a Disney trivia feature where guests can test their knowledge and learn fun facts about Disney parks. The app is free of charge and will only be available as an enhancement to guest park experience. That My Disney Experience app will continue to serve uh, planning needs before and and during park visits. Uh, Keep an eye on the Play Disney Parks hashtag and social media outlets to follow along with any updates to that. Lastly, there are some Florida resident offers that citizens of the nation's most aggressively humid state can take advantage of at the Walt Disney World Resort. So, when you aren't busy scraping love bugs off your windshield or hunting the skunk ape, keep these Disney deals in mind. Uh, The first is the Discovery Disney Ticket offer, uh, available for purchase through June 20th. Discovery Disney tickets allow Florida residents to enjoy three days at a Walt Disney World theme park for just $159 plus tax per person, and they can add a fourth day for only $20 extra per person. These tickets are valid for admission to any one of the four theme parks per day, unless the park hopper option has been added, and they can be purchased from now through June 20th, 2018, and they can be used through June 24th. All right. Next, we've got the Fun and Sun Room offer, which is available now through June 24th. Florida residents have the opportunity to get discounted room rates, and Disney has listed a pricing example for us. Uh, their example, a family of four can enjoy a three-night stay at select Disney's All-Star Resort Hotels with four-day Discover Disney tickets for $1,246, which is just $78 per person per day. Now, sample package price is valid for stays most Mondays through Wednesday nights through June 20th, 2018 for two adults, one junior, and one child when you book by June 20th, 2018. Uh, That sample pricing is, uh, never mind. (laughs) If uh, you're Floridian looking to plan the best possible interpretation of the word staycation, visit official Dis Sponsor Dreams Unlimited Travel. Um, There you'll find planning tips, uh, information and a free no obligation quote so just head to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com now disney is all about creating a happy ending to a sad story in today's featured article by bridget denon ditched at disney what to do when ditched at the happiest place on earth bridget manages to find a positive in an undesirable situation with the help of course of the walt disney world resort so give that a read today 
Now, speaking of positivity, tomorrow be sure to check out our next in our series of staff columns. This week's column is another installment of Jackie's Spoonful of Pixie Dust, where Jackie Gailey, our senior content director and mom of a 20 and 16 year old, um, will focus on why she's ridiculously excited about the opening of Toy Story Land. This article will be published for your reading pleasure tomorrow at noon, so be sure to check that out. Trending on the boards today is a thread entitled Waiting in Line But Not Going on the Ride that was started by poster Artemis908 on the Theme Parks Attractions and Strategies Forum. In the thread, the poster lists some Walt Disney World attractions that her boyfriend is considering going on but might need to change his mind at the last moment. Others are weighing in with their experience in discussing how the chicken exits, which is not my word, uh, work at most of the attractions. Stop by disboards.com to join in on the discussion and share in your experiences. Uh, Join us today at 1 o'clock for the Dis Unplugged Walt Disney World edition, where we'll cover this week's news and engage in some lively Disney discussions. You can check that out on Dis Unplugged at 1 p.m. today. Now, for your weather today, Orlando will have partly cloudy skies with afternoon thunderstorms. The chance of rain is 40%, the high is 91, and the low will be 74. Those in Anaheim will have sunny skies with a high of 85 and a low of 62. Uh, now, before I sign off, I would like to mention that today is the second anniversary of the Pulse nightclub terror attacks in Orlando. Our hearts go out to those who are still struggling with grief, pain, and loss that continues to affect so many. Although I don't think we'll ever be able to fully prevent the horrific actions of broken people, one thing we do have control over is our reaction to the violence and chaos that comes our way daily. Orlando's reaction was both immediate and lasting. As someone who's lived in the area for most of my life, I see, hear, and most importantly, I feel the difference in the community. My experience has been that Orlando is a city filled with people who pride themselves on tolerance, compassion, and the ability for each person to discover whom they love and to be free to express it in a way that brings them joy and fulfillment. Those are ideals that can't be changed by grief or pain, only strengthened. The city will be hosting numerous events in remembrance of the tragedy, so uh, be on the lookout for that if you'd like to participate. Now, for information on everything I've mentioned, go to wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix, and that will be it for me today. But join us again tomorrow for another installment of your Diz Daily Fix. (laughs) 